my lovelies, welcome back. Today is the day that I've chosen to talk about the upcoming full moon in Capricorn. Now you might say, what? Didn't I just see a full moon in Capricorn video from you a month ago? Yeah, you're right. There was a full moon in Capricorn already. It was in the beginning of the sign. Now we have a full moon in Capricorn at the end of the sign. 29 degrees to be precise. And what do we know about 29 degrees? Well, it's the critical degree. And it's critical because we are ending. We are, it's a, this is a clear end, right? It couldn't be more clear. A full moon is already an ending, right? It's a culmination. It's like, okay, we reach a goalpost, uh, whatever. We reached the, the height, the pinnacle. From here, it's like, it, you know, when you're on top of the mountain, where do you go from there? You go down again and then you go to the next one. And that's, that's the clear lesson here. 29 degrees. So the full moon is already telling us something is finished, but it's in 29. It's really finished now, guys. It's really finished. Whatever it is in your life that needs to be really finished, it, finito. It's, it's over, done, dusted. Just put it to rest. Put it, just stop carrying it with you. Giving it another chance, trying it out again, looking at it again you know, wondering, oh, what else can I learn? Maybe there's nothing else to learn here. Maybe the, the lesson is in moving forward. But let's get into this one because there's more. There is more. It's not just a full moon in 29 degrees of Capricorn, ruled by Saturn, Saturn in retrograde, right? That the structure is finished, right? We, we, we've built it now. It's built and it's re been rebuilt. And now it's just, you know, that house is done. You know, a builder that builds a house is not staying there. Once the people move, they have moved in. The, the builder moves on, building the next house. And that is kind of like a similar idea here. Um, <laughs> also, this moon is in... It's in a conjunction with Pluto. It's an out of sign conjunction, but they are so close, guys. They are so close. They are just, they are hours apart, really. And what I really like about this is that it is an out of sign conjunction. We're dealing with two different elements. The message of metamorphosis. It's the message of alchemy, alchemizing, right? Because we are going from one element to the next. The moon is in 29 uh, point something degrees of um, Capricorn. It's almost gone. It's almost out of this element and it's getting ready to get into the next element, which is air. So it's a, there's an alchemization here. Um, and this is also the message to you, like alchemizing, metamorphosizing, is that a word? Into something new, a new version of self, a new version of you. And Pluto is the transformation. Remember that. It's the transformation. It's also the soul's potential in this life, but it's the soul's potential in, in, in the way where it transforms us. It transforms us in the physical, in the physical, in the 3D reality. And this is, we're talking about the moon here. What's the moon? The moon is the unconscious. It's like the feeling, the world of emotions. It's like us... Um, walking through life as the thing thing we've become through our upbringing, through the culture we've been brought up in, the family we've brought up in. Now, the question is, where are you at based on that, based on the culture you've lived in, the upbringing you've been in? And who are you becoming now? You know, when we grow up, obviously we take on a lot of stuff uh, from our parents, our caregivers, our the, the, the people that surround us. And there are so many layers that often cover that, that true soul potential we have, right? That, that, that fire within us, that source. 
And in order to let that shine, shine through a little more, you got to take off layers. And that is also part of this moon, uh, this moon's uh, intention, taking off the layers that, you know, you really don't need them anymore. They might have served you at some point, but you're morphing into something new. This will most likely come with some pain because, you know, you, you might want to hold on to that whatever layer or layers um, that, sh you know, that you got to leave behind. You might want to hold on to them because subconsciously they're part of you. You know, they've become you, even though they might not serve you anymore. And maybe you are at the stage where you're not fully realizing that you have an idea that something needs to change, but you're not fully clear. Maybe you're at a stage where you're clear, but you still can't do it because this, you know, there's the subconscious hold. Maybe you are a few steps further, you know, wherever you are, wherever you are, you got to do what you can to move to the next level now. It might be harder for some of us than others. Specifically, uh, this is going to be a very intense moon if you are, you know, if your moon is in Capricorn, right? If you are a Capricorn moon, that's an energy that is, um, is gonna get you deeply. Also, if you are an uh, Aries moon, if you are an, um, a moon in Libra or uh, a moon in Cancer, this is going to work with you on a, on a very deep level. Then if you have any planets or points uh, around 29 degrees of Capricorn, depending on what planet we are talking about, then, you know, the, the, the energy of this planet will probably be felt much more. So I, I think this is not a moon for the faint of heart. On the same day, uh, Mars is also moving into Gemini. And the moment Mars moves into Gemini, it um, trines Pluto. Pluto being a big part of this of this uh, uh, full moon. Now that also makes Mars a big part of this full moon. So we, it's very likely that we are inspired to change through this, right? Because this intense energy might move us. It quite quite literally it might move us forward. This is obviously not going to be true for all of us. Um, the the, the the, the movement part, right? Like some of us might might feel buried by this intensity because guys, this is an intense, intense moon. The strength, right? That that this moon holds and the strength that um, Pluto brings into it and Mars adding its, its power as well. You gotta be able to hold that energy, right? To hold the charge because it's a high, it's high voltage, high voltage here. But that's the, that's the whole point of a metamorphosis, right? There's this high voltage and through that, we can then move through the other side. And some of us will do this consciously, others will feel buried, but eventually, you know, you will get out of the gravel and you will also make your way to the other side. It might take you a little longer, um, but there will be changes. There will be definitely changes for all of us in some area. You know, it, it, it might even be that some, some of you, the changes will be minute, right? right? They just, they will be tiny, but there will be changes. I don't think that you can get out of this full moon um, without, you know, without feeling something has changed. Um, I, I really, I can't see it because again, there's, there's more happening on this day. We have the moon in an exact, exact sextile with Neptune. We have Uranus square Mercury on the same day and Venus sextile Jupiter. So every planet is involved here. That day, just every, the whole universe is conspiring together, talking to us. This is not obviously, uh, an eclipse, but it is intense energy, guys. It's intense energy. I, I don't want to compare it to an eclipse energy because it's a very, it's a different energy, but 
like I said, there's all planets, all the whole universe is involved. There is not one major planet that is not involved in this full moon. Metamorphosis is the word that uh, comes to mind when I, when I see this. You know, becoming the butterfly. You know, before the little larva becomes the butterfly, it has to push through. And that's kind of like that energy, pushing through. Okay, I wanna, I wanna leave you here with this because obviously I could take this, um, I can talk about this forever, but you, I, I think you get the idea here. You get the idea. So get ready. Get ready for an intense, intense weekend because th th this energy will very, very likely already be active on the day uh, this video is published. And I know this sounds traumatic, you know, I'm like, I'm presenting this in a very traumatic way, but maybe that also has to do with me being a Capricorn moon. So yeah, an intense moon. I wish you uh, a beautiful metamorphosis, uh, awakening, reawakening. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Also, if you want a personal reading, you know what to do. Click on the link in the description box. Anything else, I'm here for you. Ask away. I wish you a beautiful full moon. I'll talk to you later.